Hey, what is up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to put Android and dual boot Android on the HTC HD2. I know this is an older phone, but uh, it's been supported all the way up through Lollipop with different Android distributions. You can also run Windows Phone 7 on it, and it's shipped with, I think, Windows Mobile 6.5. So uh, it's a very versatile device, so I think it's probably still useful in 2017. So without further ado, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do this. So here, just connected the device. All right. Let's see, okay, here we go. So you can see I've already put the files on there, but all you have to do is download two files from the description. They're labeled, plain and simple. Um, wait for the ads in the first page. The button you'll want to click is actually in the top right hand corner. Don't click anything in the middle of the screen. And then it'll redirect you to Mediafire. Um, it's just, that's just the way it is. If you click stuff in the middle of the screen, that's just advertisements, but the, the link you want is going to be in the top right. There'll be a five second or ten second countdown timer, and uh, then, then the link you need will appear. Um, so first things first, once you get these files downloaded, you just want to highlight them both, drag and drop them onto your device that you've connected, and uh, you have to have an SD card for this. Um, I think you can actually do it on the internal storage, but it's way, way easier to just use an SD card. I think I have a 32 gigabyte card in the device right now and uh, it reads that just fine so that'll that'll work perfectly for this we're not natively installing Android on here um, we're just going to run it as uh, we're gonna boot it from the SD card so you using this method you can actually boot um, multiple distributions or multiple versions sorry not distributions of Android multiple versions of Android and Windows Phone 7 all off the same SD card and you can still have Windows Mobile 6.5 on at the same time. So now that these are copied, you want to right click on Android and click Extract All. And you don't want it to extract to a new folder, you just want it to extract to the root of the SD card uh, because that's how the dual boot reads it. If, you, if you're not planning on doing the dual boot, you can put it in its own folder. Um, and I recommend doing that also if you're going to boot multiple different versions of Android or different uh, operating systems like Windows Phone 7 as well. So let's see, you can see here it says it's going to take, well it thinks it's going to take 7 minutes and 30 seconds, but it's not really going to take that long. But uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video, and uh, for you guys it should be instant. Okay, so once you have the files extracted to your device, you want to unplug the device from the computer, make sure that it's totally finished, or that you click safely remove hardware. And then, let's see, we'll just go from the home screen here. So, starting from the home screen, pretending you don't have a shortcut to the file explorer on the home screen, you hit start, navigate down to your file explorer, this is Windows Mobile 6.5 by the way, um, and go up where it says my device, choose storage card, and then, uh, oh I already have an Android secure folder, I'm actually going to delete that because that can cause problems here hit delete on that and then uh, you have two programs that you need in order to run Android the first is CLR CAD which I'm not exactly sure what that means I think it prepares the uh, startup.txt file down here with your devices information so that uh, the Herit.exe can boot for you but the first thing we want to do is put Gen Y dual boot oh that's right I have Gen Y dual boot on here already and uh, you'll notice it says storage card, so that's where we want to install it. If you install it to your device, it's not going to work. It's not going to turn on, uh, or it's not going to start when you start your phone and give you the dual boot option. So dual boot, WVGA, yes, it's installed. And you don't need to restart or anything in order uh, to like complete the installation or anything like that. Now, this works best if you already have Android up and running um, so like you don't want to try and use Gen Y dual boot for your first boot of Android so since this would be the first boot you'll notice I don't have a data dot image yet I just have the Z image right there 
um, data.image is the part that stores all of your information and everything for you. So since I don't have that yet, um, I'm not going to run it just yet, but I will show you what it looks like here. So let's see. I'll, first, I'll just you can actually oops, you can actually access it from uh, from your start menu. You go down Gen Y Dual Boot, and this is what it looks like. And it has Auto Boot enabled by default. You can just disable Auto Boot. So if you have Auto Boot enabled, uh, you have 10 seconds to choose between one. Otherwise, the one that's automatically highlighted. Uh, or the one that's highlighted will automatically boot and then if you have fast boot then instead of 10 seconds you have three I just tell it to leave it up um, Gen Y actually loads after Windows loads so if you are booting into Windows and you choose Windows it's really quick it just takes you straight into the home screen otherwise it goes through the Herit boot process uh, with the Herit.exe but I will go ahead and power off the phone and then power it back on and show you guys what Gen Y dual boot looks like Thumbs up if you like my workbench here. It's a uh, USPS priority mailbox. Okay, so the phone's off, I believe. Yeah, it was off. Good. Okay. So it's loading on. You can see the HTC. And this this is an HD tube, by the way. This is the only uh, phone that this video will work with. I did a tutorial for this a long time ago. Or well, several years ago for the HTC Touch Pro 2, and uh, Android runs a lot better on the HD 2. Um, I don't have time in this video to sit and wait for Android to boot and show you what it looks like, but uh, this is it. It just it pops up just like this, and I'm going to choose to auto boot. Uh, I'll choose to auto boot Windows, and uh, this time, and then we'll go back into the. File Explorer here. Sorry, I was off camera. Go hit CLRCAD, and I think this is just the first time that you boot Android. You have to do that, and then I would run the the Herit EXE, and you get the little command line, and uh, eventually you get to Android. Um, I think typically what happens on the very first boot, which is what this will be for this uh, boot, is uh, It'll, it creates the data image which takes forever, it takes like a half an hour for some people. And then uh, your phone just restarts um, and boots back into Windows. Alright, well thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. And then also check the links in the description for the files that you need. Alright, thanks for watching.